हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू फार्मा कैम इन टुडे टॉपिक इज एच पी एल सी सिस्टम सुटेबिलिटी पैरामीटर्स इन दिस टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न डिफरेंट पैरामीटर्स ऑफ एच पी एल सी सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड वॉट इज सिस्टम सुटेबिलिटी द सिस्टम सुटेबिलिटी टेल्स वेदर द क्रोमोटोग्राफिक कंडीशन एग्जाम्पल कॉलम मोबाइल फेस सिस्टम आर सुटेबल फॉर इंटेंडेड एनालिसिस The system suitability test represents an integral part of the analytical procedure and is used to ensure adequate performance of the chromatographic system. Let us see what are the system suitability parameters of HPLC. First is Stalling factor. It is also called as asymmetry factor. Second is theoretical plates. Third is resolution. Fourth is relative standard deviation, also called as RST. Fifth is peak to value ratio. Sixth is signal to noise ratio. Seventh is reference standard check, also called as similarity factor. Fourth parameter, tailing factor, also called as asymmetry. The tailing factor is determined by drawing a perpendicular line from the peak center to the baseline of the peak. you can see in the figure where the peak width ac and the front half width ab are measured for the peak at 5 percentage of the height of the peak the tailing factor is the entire peak width ac divided by twice the front half width ab that is tf is equal to ac divided by 2ab next parameter theoretical plates chromatographic column consists of separate layers known as theoretical plates and the number of theoretical plates is used to check the performance and effectiveness of the column the larger the number of theoretical plates the sharper is the peak and better is the column efficiency it is calculated as n is equal to 16 into tr divided by wb square where tr is equal to retention time and wb is equal to peak width from the base next parameter resolution resolution is defined as the separation of any two peaks in the chromatogram which can be varied systematically by changing experimental conditions resolution is measured by dividing the difference in peak retention times by the average peak width this is the formula for calculating resolution r is equal to 2 into tr2 minus tr1 divided by w1 plus w2 where tr1 and tr2 represents peak retention time and w1 and w2 represents peak width from the base next parameter relative standard deviation rsd in hplc method validation relative standard deviation rsd is often used as a method of precision the rsd is calculated as the standard deviation divided by mean then multiplied by 100 to express it as a percentage here is the formula to calculate percentage rsd percentage rsd is equal to sd divided by x1 into 100 where sd is equal to standard deviation and x1 is equal to mean to ensure precision of the method for major analytes rsd should be less than or equal to 2 percentage for low level impurities rsd of 5 to 10 percentage is acceptable let's move on to next parameter signal to noise ratio as by n it is the ratio of power of signal to the power of background noise the signal to noise ratio as by an illiquid chromatography separation is measured between two lines bracketing the baseline and the signal is measured from the middle of the baseline to the top of the peak you can see the figure for that here is the formula to calculate as by n as by n is equal to 2 h divided by small h where h represents the signal and small h represents the noise Let's move on to next parameter peak to valley ratio. You can see the figure for this. 
the peak to valley ratio is employed as a system suitability criteria when baseline separation between two peaks is not achieved. The formula for peak to valley ratio is HP divided by HV, where HP represents height above the extrapolated baseline of the minor peak and HV represents the height above the extrapolated baseline at the lowest point of the curve separating the minor and major peaks. Next parameter, reference standard check, also known as similarity factor. In these two standard solutions are prepared, standard 1 and standard 2. It is used to check the accuracy of solution preparation. Similarity factor should be between 0.98 to 1.02. This is the formula to calculate similarity factor. That is area of standard 1 divided by area of standard 2 is equal to weight of standard 2 divided by weight of standard 1. Thank you. I hope you like this video. So please like, share and subscribe my videos and also show your support in the comment section. Bye.